Hey, thanks for watching CNN 10. Our daily 10 minute shows are on pause for the summer, but we will be posting clips like this Monday through Friday until our regular programming resumes in August. So please enjoy, and to get notified of our content, please like and subscribe to this channel and keep up with us at CNN10.com. Farms around the world are struggling to protect their crops. The price of synthetic fertilizers is soaring due to the war in Ukraine and supply chain disruptions. But farmers in Vermont are finding relief from an unexpected source, human pee. I ain't gonna let the secret out too much because I don't want to deplete my share that I get of it. I'm, I'm grateful for what I've got. So, you know, I could use more if I had more, um, for sure. Here we go, we're all open. Dean Hamilton is one of a handful of farmers in the area participating in an experimental program, trading chemical fertilizers for human urine. That's about it there, yep. The liquid is rich in phosphorus, nitrogen, and potassium. All righty. Important nutrients that the plants need to thrive. About 80% of the nitrogen and two-thirds of the phosphorus in our bodily waste are in the urine, which surprises people. The Rich Earth Institute started the Urine Nutrient Reclamation Program in 2012. Noah Hoskins is one of the farmers participating in the program. Come on, cows. His cows are grazing on fresh grass that was fertilized with human urine just about six weeks ago. The joy of it for me is the ability to envision and participate in a vision where things are much closer connected and self-supporting. The urine has nutrients in it. If you put those nutrients on the grass, they grow. There's more grass. More grass means more cows. The beef is cheaper. The whole system is more tied together, more cyclical. Everybody wins. In Brattleboro, we have upwards of about 200 people who continuously donate their urine. You know, people are really, really proud to contribute to this. They not only are happy to be part of research, but they're also realizing that something that comes out of their bodies is actually beneficial for the earth. So this starts once I get this down to here. I've been doing this for seven years, I think. I'd say I'm around 800 gallons or so of my own urine collected. When I'm not donating it, I feel strange. I just feel like, oh, I'm just wasting that, that pee, you know? It could have served a better purpose, so. Urine, it turns out, has very few pathogens compared to fecal matter. But in accordance with World Health Organization guidelines, the Rich Earth Institute pasteurizes it before it heads out on this truck to local farms. And while the organization's program is still contained to this corner of Vermont, they have bigger ambitions. So we kind of have a toilet showroom here for people who want to learn a little bit more about how this might scale up in our society. They're testing toilets and plumbing systems. This is a urine-diverting dry composting toilet system. That safely separate urine from fecal matter. The urine just goes from the front of the bowl and kind of sneaks around back. That they hope one day could be installed into homes and even large buildings across the world. The bottom line is that all the nutrients from all the food we eat end up in our body waste, mostly in our urine. All those nutrients could go back to farms, back to agriculture, and grow new crops, grow new food instead of just flushing them down the drain and wasting them. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at CNN10.com, and we'll see you in August for daily episodes of CNN 10. I'm Carl Azus.